I have positive proof that time travel exists. Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. Before I get into my time travel evidence, I have one more thing to say about the episode titles for the Ice Warriors. This story is unique among classic Doctor Who stories. Up through the Gunfighters, every single episode had its own individual title. From that point going forward, throughout the classic series, the stories themselves had an overarching title, but the individual episodes were either named Episode Whatever, like Episode 1, Episode 2, or else Part 1, Part 2, etc. That is true to the best of my recollection of every single story throughout the classic era, with one exception. And that is the Ice Warriors. The Ice Warriors, the individual titles, are simply named one, two, three, four, five, and six. And actually, if you take a look at the TV screen behind me, there's your example. This is a really cool, weird, one-off exception, and I absolutely adore it. Moving on to my proof of time travel. I'd like you to take a look at this picture. This is British comedian David Mitchell, most well known for the comedy duo Mitchell and Webb, and also as a very posh, erudite, comedic commenter along the same lines as Stephen Fry. This is British actor Peter Salas playing the role of Penley in The Ice Warriors. Not only does Peter Salas look virtually identical to David Mitchell, he sounds almost the same. In fact, the first time I watched this story, I could have sworn that I was watching David Mitchell in 1967 playing the role of Penley. It is uncanny how similar they are. At some point in the near future, David Mitchell will completely disappear, and what will have happened is he will have traveled back in time to 1967 and taken up a new career as actor Peter Salas. From that point, he will become a very well-known British actor from the era, and in particular, go on to star in the very long-running series, Days of Wine and Roses, and ultimately and tragically pass in 1998 at the age of 97. Now, the only way to prove myself right is for us all to survive this coronavirus and see what happens to David Mitchell. So, to that end, I need you to all stay alive so you can either prove me right or laugh in my face. And so, on that point, as I always say, stay home, stay safe, be kind, be positive, and I will see you tomorrow.